Being joined by Pioneer Site Coach Ronnie Billups and uh, Coach in our, our liner that opens this segment that's uh, a line from you in which you say the great teams get better every single day. And I think coming into a game like this, if that is the class of the Summit League on the other side, there's a lot of really good stuff to take away from this. Obviously, shooting in the second half, your team goes cold, but what are the biggest things that you bring out of this game? I think we can compete with anybody. You know, if, if they got picked first in our league, we got picked ninth, and we give ourselves a chance. I mean, we got the shots that we typically make. We just didn't make them today. Uh, and we got, uh, there, there was a stretch where we had nine straight stops in the first half. We got, we have to carry that uh, over to the second half. And, you know, playing a team like this to 66 points, uh, a team that doesn't turn it over, they turn it over 15 times. I think there was a lot of positives, but we got to build on, you know, what we do. Uh, and that's make shots. We, we typically make shots, especially early uh, in, the, in, in the shot clock by the basket, and we didn't get that done. You mentioned the turnovers. This is a North Dakota State team that comes in averaging less than 10 turnovers per game. Uh, you guys force 15 on the other side. Um, you know, we've talked so much about the effort and the execution for your team and being there for all 40 minutes. Um, the, the things you liked most defensively from what your guys were able to do against a team that's so veteran-laden, so experience-laden, what stood out most about why you were able to hold them to 66? We didn't take a lot of chances. You know, we, we, we were just solid. And, and the pace was very slow, I thought. Uh, there was not a lot of energy in here. I, I wish we can uh, get more people out to see the, the, the brand of basketball that, that we do play at. Uh, but there wasn't a lot of energy. There wasn't a lot of crowd noise. So the game was, the, the pace of the game was slow. Uh, and it, that, 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 I think, caused us not to get out in, in, uh, in passing lanes. It caused us to just be solid. Uh, and that solid was good enough for, for today. We just got to make shots. You get North Dakota coming in on Thursday, um, a team that I think is a good measuring stick for where you guys are in the early portion of Summit League play. Between now and Thursday, what do you want your team to grow from most with this game? Well, we're going to watch some film. We're going to get in the, in, the, uh, in the practice gym and shoot some jump shots. We're going we're gonna to shoot, and we're going to be better uh, offensively than we were today. Uh, but we, we just got to grow, and we got Stay the course. Just stay the course, and, and things will happen. Things will turn for us, for sure. Coach, thanks. No problem. Pioneers fall to North Dakota State, the reigning Summit League Tournament champions. Denver, the final in this one, 66-55 uh, as NDSU starts its Summit League title defense with a win here at Magnus Arena. With that win, North Dakota State improves to 9-5. and five. Denver falls to 4-11 and 11 on the year. Next up for the Pioneers coming up on Thursday, it is North Dakota. The Pioneers fell to the Fighting Hawks twice last season and will look to atone for those defeats when they welcome in the Fighting Hawks for a 7 o'clock tip time here at Magnus Arena on Thursday evening and a 6.30 Pioneer pregame. For John Simmer back in the studio and everybody here at the University of Denver, including Ed Hederson, Deb Welke, Chris Smith, and all the rest, my name is Tyler Maughan. Our biggest thanks to you for tuning in. Denver Falls to North Dakota State 66-55. to We'll talk to you on Thursday for North Dakota.